What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the San Diego Padres versus Washington Nationals. Major League Baseball matchup going down Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. What it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yurfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text Grand Slam to six. Excuse me, to four four three seven eight zero five six six three, and we'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the San Diego Padres and the Washington Nationals. The San Diego Padres sending out Adam Mazur for the start in this one, while the Washington Nationals will counter with Mackenzie Gore and you know Mazur got the start last time out at home against the uh, the, the Milwaukee Brewers. Four and two-thirds innings, gave up three runs on five hits, including a home run. But for me, there's still just a big problem here with Adam Mazur. I don't know if he's major league ready. I know he's a highly touted prospect in this Padres rotation, but he's only had 11 strikeouts. He's had 16 walks and 17 and third innings of work this season. You know, he's had, you know, issues just with control and really just, you know, keeping the ball in the strike zone. And the Washington Nationals, you know, say what you want about the Nationals. But the Nationals have been solid against righties in the last two weeks. You know, top 10 in batting average, hitting 279. Uh, the team OPS numbers are decent, you know, above league average, isolated power numbers. You know, though that's where, you know, he may have some issues with the Nationals. But, you know, still, they're above league average there as well. You know, a low strikeout rate of 14.5% is actually the lowest in baseball in the last two weeks. So, I think that Mazur could have some issues here as well. And then you hand the ball off to a Padres bullpen that in the last two weeks has an ERA as a unit of 5.16. So it really makes it hard to feel good about back in the Padres in this spot offensively. On the other side, you've got Mackenzie Gore, who, yeah, you know, has had ups and downs this season, but the majority of his downs have come at home. He does have a 3.49 ERA at home, but on the road, even though it's only five starts compared to 10 starts at Nationals Park, on the road, Gore has an ERA around 2.3. You know, he's been a lot better away from Nationals Park. And, you know, he faces the he faced the Padres at Petco last season, got the win. Five innings of one run ball, gave up five hits, had nine strikeouts in that start. And like I said, the Padres having issues against lefties. The Padres have had issues against lefties for the better part of the season. Now, don't get me wrong. The Padres have started to hit lefties better in the last couple of weeks. They've started to you know, bring out the bats and be able to put up some runs against le uh, left-handed pitching. They're around league average in terms of batting average against lefties in the last two weeks. You know, the team OPS numbers are just outside the top 10, but they're not great. And even then, they're only hitting 227 against lefties in the last two weeks as well. For me, I just think this is a value spot to take a shot on the Nationals here, just with how well Gore's pitched on the road. The Nationals right now, their bullpen's in better form. And like I said, Mays are just having issues with control here. So, I'm going to take the Washington Nationals on the money line in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find us at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are at Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.